He had it finished. I love it. Look how beautiful. Oh my God. Took forever. Okay. I'm going to put her down and bring you over and let's talk about this canvas. Look at that shine. See you in a second. <laughs> Hello, shiny, happy people. Welcome to Kimba's Crafts. My name's Kimba. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning and you've seen one of my previous videos, welcome back. I truly appreciate you. And did you guys see? Thank you to all 127 subscribers. I just am so grateful that people are enjoying my videos. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. I'm really just having so much fun making these videos and just sharing my diamond painting experiences with you. So today I'm coming to you with like my intro <laughs> showed you a finish. This has been so uh, anticipated. I've been working so hard on this canvas and just wanting to bring this video to you and uh, yeah, it took 41 days, 41 days to finish this canvas. This is the largest canvas that I've done. It is a 70 by 87 centimeter canvas. This is Josephine Wall's Scorpio. I'm the Scorpio in the family because I got a little sting in me. And um, yeah, and it's, this is, this canvas is from Diamond Art Club. Unfortunately, if you're new to diamond painting, and uh, you're not in all the forums and Facebook groups and stuff, you might not know, but Diamond Art Club no longer licenses Josephine Wall's images. So this is no longer available um, at Diamond Art Club. Is my pug's hair. Really? Come on. Um, but you can still get this image from either Uniquely Yours Down Under or Diamond Painting Deutschland. They both license Josephine Wall's, um, some of her paintings, and then they both license all of her Zodiac signs. So you can hop onto one of those sites if you are enjoying this image. Just keep in mind, obviously, the sizes, renderings, and colors uh, will, will be different because they're different companies. Um, but if you like the image and you want to do a diamond painting of it, then that's where you can go. Um, and I'll put links to those, uh, to, to this image, um, at those two companies in the description box, because I can't put one for diamond art club, but let's talk about this canvas because there is just so much to say. Look, I mean, first of all, can we just admire the absolute beauty of this canvas? This canvas for me, easy, 10 out of 10. The quality of the canvas, the quality of the drills, I, I just can't say enough about it. The rendering, the colors, the amount of ABs, the location and use of the ABs, phenomenal. There's only three ABs in this canvas, and they were 129, a light yellow, 136, a blue, and 141, the white AB. And uh, I'll just show you where they were in this canvas. So you can see here in the sky, that is some of the blue AB. It, I will on, be honest with you, I don't think there was one square because I sectioned it off in, in um, release paper. I don't think there was one square where I didn't place an AB, at least at least one AB, but usually a few. Um, and then the yellow AB is all through here and the sun, white ABs in the sun, yellow and white in the water here. Yellow and white 
and blue all around the Scorpio. And that's what makes it look like it's actually just glowing and hovering in the air. I mean, in, in the jewel here that he's presenting to the, the beautiful lady. And then in her jewelry here. There's none in her headdress. Some in her forehead. I guess maybe that's part of her headdress. That's her headdress. But none like actually in here. A couple blues here, so I lied. But for the most part, nothing in here. This is my favorite part. I just, I look at the flat. I just love the peacock. This is my first peacock feather. Josephine Wall peacock feather. This is my first Josephine Wall anything. But yeah, I just love the headdress. She's actually, um, she was the first woman's face that I did. I thought it was going to be Lady Butterflies, but I, I actually did her face first. So that was fun. Um, and then my husband's favorite part is obviously the Scorpio. He just thinks it's so cool how it just, it just looks like it's glowing and floating in the air. So cool. All right, let me show you my drills. Um, no issues with the drills. I didn't run out of anything. Look at that. Plenty of drills in all of those, except for this one. There's like six in here or something. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven in here. I did get a little worried about him, but I hardly ever used it, so that was okay. That's the least amount I have um, left over of any of the drills. Everybody else, there's a ton, a ton of drills. Then I, there's three more containers, just because there were so many colors. 56 colors in this, so I couldn't fit it um, all in one because I wanted to use bigger containers for the higher numbers. Um, also, let me tell you, I started this, well, first of all, I found out that Diamond Art Club lives in my backyard. Well, at least they ship from there anyway. I live in New Jersey and they ship from New Jersey, so that's why I get my um, painting so quickly. So I ordered this on Fe or Jan February 16th, and I got it on February 19th. It took three days to get to me. That was awesome. Most of my paintings I've gotten in five days, within five days, by day five. I will say it that way. Um, I started this on March 9th, and I finished it today, April 19th, and I calculated that, and it was 41 days. I did not work on it every day because I am working on my Lady Butterfly. Um, like tonight and tomorrow, I'm going to work on Lady Butterfly for my week three update photo. But, uh, so what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm doing a, and that's something I learned about this from this painting. Large square paintings take a long time. <laughs> so, um, I want to have a large square painting, uh, going at all times and then do events with smaller round paintings so that um you know I can actually finish them in the month that's my goal for the year so I have been investing in more round paintings um so 41 days and in the 41 days I spent 128 hours and 11 minutes on this canvas that's a lot of hours yeah it was a lot of time I put a lot of time in this canvas but it was a lot of fun a lot of fun. So, let me just tell you what I did, my boo-boos. I did make some boo-boos on the canvas and um, that probably added like 20, 20 hours. Probably would have finished it in like 108 hours if I didn't do all these boo-boos. But my first boo-boo was up in... Woo! Sorry about that. Okay, that's my light. The first boo-boo I did was over here somewhere. I put down the same color drill for two symbols and I realized the whole square was one color. I'm like, why is this happening? So I had to rip all of them up and then 
separate them and put them all back down. That took hours. Another thing I did was over here in the flowers somewhere. I, let me find the colors. Two very similar colors were equally, equally throughout the flower. Look at these colors. Can you even tell them apart? They're like one shade off from each other. I don't even know if this one's as much darker than it looks, but it's in a much smaller container. So I ended up putting like this color on the eights. And so I looked at it and I realized that there was just as many arrows in that area. So I decided to just leave that down and swap the colors on the symbols and it came out completely fine. So put in the comments if you've ever done that. Have you ever made a boo-boo and saw, you know what, this is okay, it's gonna work and left it alone? Cause um, yeah, I was kind of just hoping that it would look fine and it did. So I think that was a win for me because that I already had another purple laid out. So I would have had to rip that whole square up again. And I just was not feeling that. It was like, no, I don't. I think I had this color already down or something. And it just was like, I can't, I can't. Um, so yeah, I left it. Uh, and I, I don't even know what flower we're talking about because like I said, they were so equally in there that it, it just didn't matter. And then my last square, so I saved my last square, um, was like, like this. And you can see like there's green in it. So, uh, when I was putting one of the greens back, I put it in the next green that I had to use and they got mixed up in, in, in the container. So I had to separate them. So that took over an hour and that was, you know, I, but I would have probably had my whole square done if I didn't make that mistake today. So that set me back. So those were the, the, the mistakes I made while doing this canvas. So yeah, those were the mistakes I made and you know, I'm just gonna keep it real. And so that's, that's what I did. That's what happened. Um, but you cannot see any of them. I fixed all of the other ones. I just left that one mistake in here and I, I don't even have any idea. Of, I can't even remember. Was it here or here or here? You can't see it. So, um, and it does not take away from the beauty of this canvas at all. Just, it just blows, takes my breath away. So I'm going to pan you over it and we'll get a little closer. Okay, so you see the ABs and the constellation. And look at all, all of the diamonds shimmer like crazy. Look, like I said, there's, there's no ABs in the headdress, but you wouldn't know that because look at that. So gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so I put the light pad under here. So I had no popping drills. Okay, the, the drill quality, sorry about my finger. The drill quality was perfect. And um, I just wanna show you, there is some gapping, but you can't see it without a light pad behind it. Nothing that, like, I can't see it even standing a, my face a foot from this canvas. You can't see those gaps. You, you can't see it at all, see? Like how close do I have to get for you to see it? Okay, anybody looking at your painting that close? There's something wrong with them anyway. All right, hold on. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Um, yeah, this is my first Josephine wall. Um, I think what, one, two, three, my fourth Diamond Art Club canvas. And um, as always, 10 out of 10, quality was amazing. I just had so much fun doing this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on your way out. 
If you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you know when I upload. I am kind of all over the place with posting videos just because um, I don't know what my schedule is week to week. I don't, know, I don't have a schedule for posting videos. I also wanted to show you my trash. The drills were so good. This is like mostly the trash was, you know, either um, like tabs on it or a hole or something like that. But there are even in here for, for almost a hundred thousand drills. Come on, that's nothing. Um, and there's even some in there that were just stragglers that I would find and I just would put it in my trash can uh, to save. But um, yeah, that the, the drills I told you were just amazing. Even the black drills, all the dark drills, great quality. I can't say enough about this canvas. So that's all I have for you today. I am going to be doing an amazing unboxing. I have been waiting to get into this box. I might even record it when I'm done putting her away. Um, because I, I'm just so excited. I can't wait to open this. I don't know. I'm kind of tired, but we'll see. Um, yeah, that's all I have. So you guys keep diamond painting. Take care.